watching Channel 4, the local station, live with Jennifer Waugh, Bruce Hamilton, Melanie Lawson, Nikki Kimbleton, Stacy Spanos, Time Saver Traffic with Ashley Mitchum, and the Weather Authority Forecast with Richard Nunn. The Morning Show continues. Well, chances are that you or someone you know has had an account hacked. Actually, I have, but do you know how the cyber attacker broke through? Hackers have tricks that they use to get your passwords, but there are some ways that you can protect yourself. So joining us this morning is James Jardine. He's the principal security consultant with Secure Idea. So thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having so me. So you and I just had this conversation. I was telling you that I just recently got hacked on my email, and I said, I don't know how this happened because I've had the same password for years, and your response was, that's probably what happened. Yeah, that's probably, uh, <laughs> that's probably what led to it. <laughs> so what should you do to make sure that it doesn't happen to you? Well, one of the things you want to do is you want to make sure that you're rotating your passwords yeah. as you kept yours for so long. Um, you want to make stronger passwords. Mm -hmm. A lot of people use short passwords, which doesn't really help mm -hmm. because it, we misconfuse how we actually attack passwords. Really? Um, yeah, a lot of times people think that we're attacking passwords by ruffling through your drawers and looking what's on your desk, and that's not it. Most of these are mass attacks, okay. so it's against everybody. It's you know, hey, I just found a database, so I'm going to attack that. I'm not normally specifically targeting just you. Okay, I got you. So you, the, one of the first things you say is making it a longer password. Why is that important if it's longer? Well, the longer it is, the harder it is for these automated tools to crack it. Okay. So if it's only eight characters, you know, there's a set amount of time it takes to go through every possible combination. Mm -hmm. So if you make it 15 characters, which is what we at Secure Ideas recommend, mm -hmm. it's that much longer to actually go through and crack that from an automated fashion, which is how most of these are being done. Okay, so the next tip is stay away from the generic password or one, two, three, four, five, six. I didn't think anybody had that password. Well, you'd be surprised. Splash <laughs> Data just came out with their top passwords of 2013, and one, really? two, three, four, five, six was the number one from breached values that they've identified. So that one password, systems still allow these passwords to be done. So we're seeing it. I always like to think of people as electricity. They take the path of least resistance. <laughs> that is so if you let me use the word password, I'll use the word password. And what about just using the same password? Because I know a lot of people are like, I can't remember all these different passwords for all, everything I have. So they kind of use the same one or a slight variation. You don't recommend that? No, definitely don't recommend that. We're seeing a lot of databases now get breached. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you see Yahoo, LinkedIn, all these companies are losing passwords. Mm -hmm. So as soon as somebody finds what those common passwords are, they can start using them on your other sites if mm -hmm. that's where you're using them. So you definitely want to mix them up. And what about the username too? Yeah, um, username, you know, just because we're getting usernames and passwords at the same time in these breaches where we uh -huh. steal these credentials. So if your username is the same across multiple sites and your password's the same, then it's easier to correlate the username and password. So you were talking about um, just these they're attacking multiple people at once. It's not just you. And so I was kind of thinking when my uh, email got hacked, like, how did they do that? Was it an email thing that I opened? Was it something I shouldn't have, like, clicked on? How do you find that people aren't able to do this? Is it something you're doing, or is it just not even, you, you may not have even done anything? It depends. I mean, it could be something that you do. Social engineering, which is where somebody sends you something, you click mm -hmm. on something, uh, is very viable. That's most of the ways a lot of breaches happen. Um, but it could also be from databases that have already been breached, that password's out there. Yeah and people just found it. Um, you know, being a public figure, you know, you'd be more of a target of specific mm -hmm. approach. And then what can you do? Because I tried to go change my password. Is it too late at that point? Uh, it's not too late, but you want to definitely try to change your password as soon as you find out that it's been breached. Find any other sites that you're using that same password on mm -hmm. and change those right away so that way they can't go to another site. Well, thank you so much. You've been well, so thank helpful you for having for me. me. I appreciate it. Well, those are just some of the ways that you can build stronger passwords to protect your account. We put a full list on newsforjax.com. All you have to do is click on the morning show page.